Battle of Marston Moor here. We are, of course, playing as the Royalists versus the Parliamentarians, and I'd love to see if we could go ahead and snag a victory from this battle. Um, that would definitely be a huge, huge plus. So let's go ahead and just take a look here, um, take a look at the battle. Now, as you can see, this is very much a dynamic battle screen. I don't think I've actually showed you guys this before, but we can get all sorts of interesting views here of the setup, the layout, etc. But I like to keep it sort of like this. Um, and right now, we are dealing with Cromwell's attacking right flank. I'm sure you guys know this already. Now, there's really no reason to charge with this guy. It would be a serious problem. We did our moves last turn, so if you haven't seen the moves from the last turn, make sure to check them out. Now we're going to go ahead and end our turn and hope, let's hope, that this goes well. Um, but this is probably the biggest battle I have faced in Pike and Shot. Okay, here we go. So we still have the enemy has to go ahead and fire their bombs off uh, to the units that they could spot. And there are the Scotsmen back here. Um, you can see those with the Scottish flag are moving up. The Parliamentarians seem to be the first line of attack. There we go, the veteran Parliamentarian cavalry was not able to break through our cavalry. That's one good day. One more day holding this right flank for us to do damage to the center and the left and hopefully route them. Because I'll tell you one thing, I highly doubt we're going to route P Cromwell's right flank here. I'm um, sorry, Car their left flank, our right flank. Um, it's coming on us pretty strong, and we've still got Scottish cavalry on the way. Now, that was a nasty battle between these two units of Pike and Shot. Um, as you can see, they're doing quite a lot of damage to each other. Uh, Fifteen may not seem like a lot, but in a battle like this, it's a lot of men to deal with. And so far, it seems very, very equal to even combat. Wow, so we actually flanked the unit, and we actually only managed to kill five. Uh, more melee combat here on the right, and this is where we really need to be careful. It's now the Parliamentarian's turn, so they can go ahead and begin making their moves. Uh, which worries me a little bit. I don't want them to charge, but look at that! 43 damage already on the attack. Um, and this is where we obviously have the Hedgerow protecting us, uh, but I'm not sure if that's going to really count for as much now that they're right here on the Hedgerow with us. Um, and here we go, we're actually having one unit charge. I expected that to happen. Another one charging on this side of the field. This is where we need to be very, very careful. This center um, is really our tough point. Now that's terrible. You can see that's, that unit got fragmented. Um, their morale and cohesion is terrible. They have to pull back, but we can hopefully fill in that spot with this unit right here. Um, that's what I'm hoping for anyway. Okay, there we go. We got some movement damage on the enemy Scots. Um, the Scots seem to be holding the rear flank here. So if we can break this center, we really are going to have a major advantage in the battle. Um, if we can break the center before Cromwell breaks us on the right, who knows what could happen. We may be able to disperse all of these guys. But it's not going to be that simple. Uh, this is going to take time, it's going to take effort, uh, and certainly some strategy that I, even I may lack here. Um, but I'm hoping I can do my best. Oh wow, so a flank attack, that's what I don't want to happen, and it's a parliamentarian unit, so they're going to hit us hard and of course cause our unit to break. That's not what I wanted at all, um, and that could cause other units to break. We need to be very, very careful. Alright, pretty even there. Actually, I mean, I'm actually really surprised our commander shot held out against that attack pretty well. We've got more cavalry over here, although I was hoping we could break this cavalry with our royalist cavalry. Um, but with these Scotsmen reserves, I'm not so sure. Oh boy, another charge. And this time we actually ended up, fr ended up fra fragmenting one of the enemy cavalry troops. So that's pretty awesome. Um, maybe a bit late, but it's certainly a start. No idea why I have that musket that far out, but that's certainly something to think about and possibly pull them back. Okay, so we're actually getting more artillery fire from the enemy, although I'm not really too concerned about that one cannon. Um, I don't think I can do much. Let's see if the residual shot can bring us any positives. Beautiful. Put an open fire here with the men that we have available. Oh, 
Scots apparently are also shooting. So they missed their first one. So they seem to be concentrating a lot of fire on uh, our center units. Alright, more melee. And this is, of course, the dangerous part of the battle because this is where I could easily lose one of these guys to a break. That was a pretty heavy hit by the parliamentarians. So this is why I get worried. As this right side is breaking down, things get tough. Now there we actually won that battle, but it's a very small conflict, so it didn't mean much. Wow, so that's what I was worried about. He's already making some of my units fall back. We're gonna have to bring this force unit over there to sort of replace this guy. Um, and it looks like their unit rallied. I was hoping we could have made that parliamentarian horse run, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Very indecisive result here. Oh my goodness. All right, a massive crunch into my spearmen there. And they really have no way to, nowhere to run. Um, if they get stuck in this fight, they need to fight it out, which is not necessarily the best thing for them. It is now our turn. Wow, that was a ton of stuff that had to happen before we actually got to fight. Um, really interesting there. Now I'm going to go ahead and start off with Max Bali. We obviously have a lot more guys to deal with now. Um, I want to see what we can do, what our options are. I'd love to go ahead and do a flank attack here on the enemy uh, parliamentary cavalry. And look at that. We actually got disrupted them. They're down to 20. That's definitely a plus. And I want to just keep trying to look for those opportunities to come go ahead and try to crush the enemy here. Um, now in this case, it wouldn't be a good idea to charge because they would actually have the advantage on us. We have to find another way and... Maybe just going across like this is not such a bad idea, and eventually trying to catch them um, off guard. Well, let's go ahead and move one of these units up here without actually attacking the enemy. And if we can actually get any charges out, I will. Um, let's go ahead and turn this way. See, nope, nothing. What about here? Doesn't seem like it. So, so far, we're sort of immobilized on this flank. Um, we wouldn't want to charge anyway, because that would be a losing charge, um, at least with that unit. So we're just taking a look here at what else we can do. Uh, can we charge these guys? Again, not the greatest idea. I guess we'll just stay put and hope that these uh, veteran cavaliers can kind of just do well by defending this area. I know cavalries are, cavaliers aren't made for defense, but <laughs> they're going to have to learn how um, or face the consequences. So let's go ahead and actually move this unit of commanded shot up to where our cavalry is. Shifting our lines just a little bit here fire on the parliamentarian horse. And um, we'll go ahead... I actually kind of want to retreat here, uh, but if we can get a decent possibility of winning, I'll go ahead and do a charge. And eh, I think we're going to retreat. So we're going to actually pull back, and we can actually fire. I thought we could anyway. Apparently not. All right, so we'll turn again, can we? Damn it! All right, we can't turn. So for now, we're just going to have to focus on what we can do. Um, in this case, we can't shoot. Why is this? Oh, he already shot. That's right. So we're going to do that. So here we have a parliamentarian coming in. We could go ahead and actually char uh, try for a charge, which I think we're going to. Um, <clears throat> the reason being the odds are very, very equal, but as you could see, we just took 48 hits, which is not good, not good at all. I wanna see if we could charge here. Let's try, do a double charge on these guys. And at least that was a little more equal in terms of damage. Just want to be prepared to fire on this guy when need be. This fragmented unit can hang out back here and just kind of stay alive, really. Now, this fragmented unit is already in combat, so there's very little I can do for him. Um, that's very unfortunate. We're just going to have to stay put. Let's go ahead. Can we charge into these guys? We can, but our winning ratio is going to be very low. So I'd rather actually just fire away. Um, what about our musketeers? So once again, these guys cannot charge, and what I'm going to do is just gonna make sure that these guys can move. And it looks like the veteran pike and shot cannot move right now, so I'm not even going to do anything with them. Uh, but we'll start sending these guys out to be replacements, if need be. In fact, we can start sending them out to this right flank over here where Cromwell is having his fun. Um, I don't want to stop anyone from being able to retreat, because I want to be able to fill in these positions. But we do also want these pikemen on the ready, so we're going to go ahead and move them up a bit here. 
And what should we do? Fire on that unit. Okay, we're definitely going to charge. As you can see, we are going to go ahead and hit. Wow, do you guys see that? We got a wonderful attack versus the enemy pike unit, uh, pike and shot unit. And we're going to see if we can do the same here. Um, and hopefully get these guys to actually retreat. Although, as you can see, the attacks are not always going to go well, unfortunately. Um, just, it didn't right there, for instance. And let's go ahead and just turn uh, over towards this guy. And I guess we still can't fire until next round. So we're just going to have to stay put here. Um, what about... Yeah, we're going to start firing at the Scott units behind us. Uh, and hopefully... We could take some of them out. Let's go ahead and deal with some of these cavalry units. All right, that would not be a good charge idea. That would not be a good charge idea. What about this? No. So I think all we can do is set up a defensive perimeter for these other cavalry units because right now we would not beat these guys in a charge at all. Um, I want to see if we can go ahead and... Okay, yeah. We can actually charge versus these Scotch cavalry. And um, maybe we can force the Scots Cavalry back, but it doesn't look like we can. Um, and we'll try to bring one of these units over here to deal with this other unit here. And do we have anyone else? Let's bring these guys up. But really, we're not in a position to attack these guys. We're going to let them attack us. Um, that looks pretty okay. I just want to make sure everybody's in a decent position. Let's go ahead and fire here on this uh, enemy unit. And what about this charge? No way. That would be a terrible, terrible idea. Um, so right now, we're really just hoping on the willpower of our units to win the battle. Uh, we're, not, we're not in really that bad a position. It's very, very even across the battlefield right now, um, and I'm sure you guys would like to see the end of this. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe below. Tell me if you have any tips, if you guys want me to do anything in, in particular, but as you can see, we really are locked in mortal combat here with the Parliamentarians and the Scots, and I hope it can lead to an ultimate victory. Thank you for watching, guys, and don't forget to hit the like button. Take care.